What makes a wine gold medal worthy is actually a very difficult question because we judge culturally, we judge against peer groups. When you taste wine that really has finesse, that has poise, that has elegance, that has concentration, then you know you've got a gold medal wine on your hands. It's particularly well flighted, so the wines tend to come to the judges in a great order. They're always specifically by vintage or by uh, residual sugar and style, and in that it allows us as judges to have a better impression of the general style of wines across the flight and then to be able to pick out those that are golds. You can distinguish between the the good wines, the ones that are the 93, 94 silvers, and then the ones that get over the border to gold. Especially at a gold level, you're really looking for a, a sense of origin. If there are any kind of borderlines between a bronze and a silver, for example, or a silver and a gold, that's when we discuss, debate, and come to a consensus. Or if we don't come to a consensus and someone is really firmly pushing for a gold medal, then we'll put that through as a gold medal, and then we know that that will be retasted by the co-chairs. It's got to have all that typicity, it's got to have that classic taste from the classic varieties. Obviously got to be very balanced, it's got to have great length. To be really kind of gold and platinum, it's got to taste of where it comes from. But then to go the extra mile, it's just the finesse, the elegance, the balance, the oak usage, all those sort of things. Producers can be confident that they've been judged to the highest possible standard. So if they get a good score and a good medal, it's something I think they can be really proud of. If you go and visit producers and they say, Oh, by the way, we won a gold medal last year at Decanter. You know, that, they're so proud of that. It's a validation of a whole year's work. Terrific.